13 new cases of COVID-19 today under the Bear River Health Department, which covers Cache, Rich, and Box other counties. That brings their total to 1,724. More than 1,500 of those are from Cache County. The majority have been Latinos and employees at the meatpacking plant JBS in Hiram. ABC4's Jordan Verdadero has been keeping up with the recent spike in Cache County and tells us how Latinos especially are being affected. One Latino community member is working out of her home in Smithfield to provide resources for those Latinos affected by the recent COVID-19 outbreak at the meatpacking plant JBS in Hiram. Lizette Villegas is a Latino leader in Cache County. She's helped over 400 families in the area who have been affected by the recent COVID-19 spike. Villegas led the peaceful protest for employees at JBS after the outbreak that infected more than 300 employees. She says those who have recovered went back to work as soon as they could to support their families. They have to go back because their pay per day was $50 a day. So they got a paycheck for a week for $350. She's working with local nonprofits to educate Latinos about COVID-19 and bring food and supplies directly to homes in need. Villegas says the reason Latinos have been hit the hardest is because they do not have the luxury of working from home. We don't have the opportunity to be able to build a house through Zoom, kill a cow through Zoom, uh, or pick raspberries and tomatoes and potatoes through Zoom. We have to go out and work. Another issue, she says, is the cohabitation that goes on within the community. We have grandma, grandpa, uncle uh, living within one home, so then it spreads so much faster. She also started a Facebook page, La Pulguita de Logan, to keep the community informed. She says while JBS employees tried to get the plant to close down for a deep clean, it hasn't. She says many workers are scared. Uncertainty of coming back when they're sick. Uh, them being scared, the pay, that they don't want to, you know, get laid off. She and employees at JBS are working with the union to get assistance. We have reached out to JBS corporate's office, but they have not responded. Diegas is asking for monetary donations as well as donations for diapers and food. For more information on that, you can go to abc4.com. Reporting in Smithfield, I'm Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.